Okay, um, I'm here to speak a bit about Callista, um, how it's changed, how I've changed it, um, the basic idea behind how I do it. So uh, 2009 was the first vintage Callista that I did. Um, it was a bit more austere, a bit more strict, uh, slightly in a more classical style, more for aging um, than it was for actual drinking. And over time we realized that the wine should be made for people to drink now and for those who would like to age it um, over an extended period of time. So with the 2017 we've tried to do that by making the fruit a bit more upfront, um, by softening the tannins and having it slightly riper. Uh, so to achieve that we did a um, bit more uh, well, hang time, so we harvested a bit later, uh, less skin contact, fewer pump overs. Uh, we sp s took a specific yeast type to enhance uh, fruit driven characters in the wine. And then we also added some uh, new oak, which we hardly used to do before. Uh, we are about 30% new oak. This was mainly to soften the tannins and then just to highlight the fruit character of the wines. Um, yeah, so blend changed a bit. It used to be predominantly uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, and over time that shifted to a third of each, and with the current vintage, it's actually Cabernet Franc, which is the main component, uh, just because it's younger vineyards and their fruitiness is a bit more apparent than the older vineyards. In the glass is the Callista 2017. Uh, nose is actually quite beautiful at the moment, showing nice leather characteristic, black pepper, so predominant of the Cabernet Franc, which is the main component. But then on the palate, you have a nice cherry, a little bit of strawberry coming to the front, very fruit forward. And then on the back parallels, you've got a, a nice uh, minerality, good tannin, and then a little bit of apricot finishing it off.